Hey everybody, welcome back to Quest for Glory 4. I'm the Blues 32 and it's day 4. And that means it's time to visit Baba Yaga. Before I do that, maybe there's one other thing I should do. You've managed to knock a branch with some berries loose from the bush. Mm, give me that. You retrieve the berries from... Eh, but fair is fair. I have a rubber chicken. Yeah, he put up with it. You know, I, I just hit him with a bolt of magic. He deserves some compensation. Your magical lasso. My magical lasso. As you repeat the magic phrase you learned from the Nishi, the bushes on the west spring apart as if by magic. Oh, that's right, it is magic. I could use, have just used the trigger spell. That would have worked too. It's a dead body, artistically laid out for maximum shock effect. Actually, it just happened to fall in that position, but please don't tell anyone. Um, how does it accidentally fall into that position? He's tied to a tree. By the neck. Pretty sure that was on purpose. Go back, or face thy doom. Hey, hey, wait a second. Don't I know you from somewhere? Yeah, yeah, you're the guy that turned Baba Yaga into a frog. And gave you an eye. So what are you doing here? Trying out for the part of soup du jour or auditioning for the main course? <laughs> well... Put it this way. A wristwatch ain't much use without a wrist. And a pair of dancing shoes don't do much when you got no legs. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Bring me something to keep the sun out of my eyes, maybe. Can you see out of both of those? Or is it just the one? Here you go. Eh, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. I can tell by the reflections in your eyes that it gives me character. Makes me look mysterious and handsome. Hey, all right, you guys. This guy is okay by me. You can let him through. Goody. Put the bones in the mortar. You put the bones. Turn it. You work the pestle back and forth in the mortar. It's hard work. Fill my flask. Fill the and we'll make the pie after I get the we get the uh, assignment to do so. Hey, it doesn't like you very much, I guess. Probably blames you for having to fly all the way from Spielberg. Maybe you could find something to win the bird-brained hut over and calm it down. This time I happen to be prepared for that. If you recall, last time I was quite befuddled. That's a lot of corn for one for one year. You know? A strangely familiar, scratchy what voice. What do you mean strangely? Shouts, now! We know exactly who lives here. It good reflexes me. 
spirits of the frigid north, spin the water, draw it forth. Frosty spirits summon twice, turn the water into ice. Instantly dead. You find yourself trapped in ice. No air. Come dead. for a little visit, are we? A little chat, perhaps? Well, yes. They remembered the last time you came for a little visit, don't we, kids? Hey, that was your fault, not mine. You turned me into a frog, didn't you? Ha! Huh? Thought I wouldn't remember you. You thought to yourself, let's just visit Baba Yaga and see what we can turn her into today. <laughs> well, you thought wrong, kiddo. Well, now you're here and all trapped like a fly in a web. Just looking at you reminds me of lunch. Lunch! So, uh, what will it be, kid? Hero sandwiches or hero on the half shell? Turtle Seems power. he is already frozen, we could just settle for a little ice cream sundae with a vip scream and nuts. God, you're worse than the Crypt Keeper with the, oh, with the uh, morbid puns. We'll just skip the main course and go straight to dessert. That's not healthy. Any last words from the soon-to-be supper? Well, as a matter of fact... You tell about Mr. Bones the Gnome, and the reason you came here. So, you come here to help the Jester get back his jokes, huh? How fitting. He made a fool out of me because you made a frog out of me. And now I'll make food out of thee. Just desserts, after all. <laughs> yeah. So now we can all have our favorite treat to eat. Isn't that right, kids? Also, let's say my last word. You say something properly heroic. Well, wasn't that inspiring, kids? Guess we'll have bologna and freeze for snackies. Hey, I tried. Guys, you gotta help me out. You'd rather have pie. What? I pie? <laughs> Mm, no, I think he's got something else in mind. Oh, elderberry pie. It's true, we haven't had that for a long while. But I can't very well make one now. I don't have any of the ingredients. Mm. Oh, poo poo poo. Now that you mention it, I'd really like some elderberry pie. With or without ice cream. I don't even want to know how you'd make that. You're right. He did bring us a mandrake, didn't he? And it made such a lovely mousse. Very well. Who knew she was but such it a gourmet? Means no ice cream for now. So, Mr. Tender Morsel, I'll give you another chance. Bring me some fresh elderberry pie, and I won't have you for dessert. Agreed? Good. Vigorously, you nod your head. I can't. I'm frozen. Good. Bring us some fresh elderberry pie, or we'll just settle for Adam's apple pie and the minced meat instead. <laughs> but I'll be gone, and you won't be able to get me. We'll recycle this ice around this fool for iced knee later. Hmm. Hero lout, now get out. I can't imagine that would work very well. You can just well, dip the, the knee in water. Here? It's not going to change in the one flavor. Piece? I sure never expected to see you outside of a quiche again. She sent you after an elderberry pie? Yep. Well, you're not gonna find that one in the freezer section of your local store. Uh, all right, what do we got? What do, what's this pie? She didn't give you the recipe. All right, let's see. You'll need a pie pan for starch. You'll need bone meal for a crust, grew goo for flavoring, and elderberry berries, of course. 
That's the stuff that leaks out of the Dark One's cave. It's kind of like molasses gone bad. Really bad. Ugh. So basically it's drool. This? A touch of that. Bit of this? What do you Looking think? good. Now show it to the head skull over there and get out of the way fast if you don't want to add rump roast to the barber's menu for the night. Here you go. The skulls appear to have stopped flashing their lasers. You pick up the pie. It's been cooked to a delicate golden brown. Hey, bird legs! Squat! And then you remember what it's you made of. You quickly out. step out from under the trap. A moment later, you hear the voice of Baba Yaga. Not very trusting, is he, kids? Good. It's not like I trust him. You get a different voice Your actor. Quick, make him speak. Well, you find your shoes stuck to the floor. Dang it, if only I didn't wear shoes. Spirits of the swamp and mire, aid me in what I desire. Creatures of the mist, beings of the fog, turn this human into a cute hedgehog. Gotta go fast. I have a sudden craving for a tiggly wiggly. Perhaps What's some a hedgehog grog. I don't even know. Hedge piggly swiggly and pig newtons. Hmm. What's that you say? Elderberry pie. Oh darn. He was bringing that here, wasn't he? I don't suppose a piggly wiggle can get the pie from his backpack, could he? I don't think I have one anymore. Yet his feet are stuck to the floor. <gasps> oh, pity. Spirits of the mist and more, restore this man as he was before. How much mana do you have? So, now my dining delight, do you have what I asked for? Naturally. Mmm, that smells delicious. Just the way we like it. Fresher from the fire. So, let me think. How should I reward you for such a lovely pie? You could not kill me. Well, kitty, should we just fry him now, or for an entree have green spleen casserole with roast leg of man? <laughs> guys, guys. Oh, all right. I suppose he did do us a favor. It wouldn't be polite to eat him now. Besides, he may be useful in the future. Yeah, you're gonna need my help. So what is it that you want as a reward for your lovely pie? You tell about the gnome and how he wants his humor back. Humor, is it? You want a sense of humor? I'm not sure the gnome really had a sense of humor. Making fun of poor old ogresses. Oh, all right. Take this good humor bar and give it to the gnome. I suppose there is nothing more pathetic than a gnome who can't tell a joke. You take the good humor bar... How about bar, a dwarf that's afraid of enclosed spaces? You've got what you wanted, and I've got what we wanted. Tasty treat, now retreat. Well, I guess she liked the pie, or you would have taken its place. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you find it funny. Uh, do I do it now or later? Uh, let, let's do it now. What, you ask? You know what. 
Don't feign ignorance. You insult me. Baba. Oh, back so soon, Cookie. Fa well, it is so. Uh, magic spell. Before. You want? He. Can I help you out? And one more time. Bop. Oh. Yes, I am back so soon. Well, it is. So. Glad you'll take the same thing to. You me. asked Baba Yaga about a Dark One ritual. So, you heard about that, huh? I found it in the hangman tree some years Sorry ago. About that. Got something caught in You're my asking for trouble, I hope you know. Using the ritual for any purpose will only bring you grief. It can be used in either one or two ways. Its main purpose is to bring a dark one across to this world. However, a very powerful wizard could use it to send the dark one back to its world. Well, that would be the good thing. You don't qualify as a very powerful wizard as I see it. Hey, I'm trying. Still, you want it, you got it. You put the ritual... Hero near. Out I here. Glad you're okay with the possibility of me letting in a dark one. Oh, back so soon. That seems like something I wouldn't want to have happen. Especially considering that he basically eats magic. And you've got a lot of magic. What the? Wow, I am totally misplay mis. Bleh. I don't know where I am. Goodness gracious! How did I get all the way out here? I send it. Right then. Now I know where I am. Hello. Hi. Goodbye. <laughs> One and two and three make six. Who hides her hut behind trick sticks? Magic message. Push is here. In the ride with disappear. Who else? Would that be Baba Yaga in her chicken leg hut you try? Baba baby, that's the one. An ogress who is loads of fun. If you say so. Baba Yaga, ogress fine. She makes magic with a rhyme. I've noticed this. I consider myself one, a person of keen observation. And I did notice she tends to rhyme when casting spells. Hey there, Pipsqueak. 10 and 12 make 22. This killer plant will crawl to you. Hungry, hunting, seeking food. A berry bush with an attitude? Why not? Riddles, riddles, three, two, one. Next one, and my riddling's done. That's a shame. Oh, not really. Na, na, na. Not again. Na 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 na. The bush. You're aware that I know how this game is played, na, na, right? Na, 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 na. na 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 na. Oops! 
<laughs> Hi there! All right, what you got? Nine and eight make seventeen. Watch out for the fairy queen. Hmm? Loped by magic, pale of cheek. What is it that the fairies seek? Goodness, I might not know the answer to this. Nope, don't know. You come up with a wild guess. Fuzzy bunny, soft and furry. That's a really crazy guess. Find the answer in a hurry if you want to have success. Oh, there we go. Alright, that's a riddle unique only to the wizard, I suppose. I don't think any of the other characters get a unique um, riddle. Well, character types. It's all the same person, really. Still you remain. Yep, I'm, I'm pretty good at that. The whole not dying thing. A voice from behind the door says, Whoops! Did I tell you about the time there was this guy walking into an inn with this big necrotor following him? Um, he goes no. up to the innkeeper and asks for some stew to eat. The innkeeper looks nervously at the necrotor and asks the man what his pet will eat. And the guy replies, Anyone he wants! <laughs> Not bad, eh? And the Part of the course the for you, bar. actually. What's this? You trying the old hot pepper bar on me? Hey, hey, I'm the professional, kid. Don't try this at home. Not on a gnome, anyway. Hey, it looks good, though. He eats the good humor bar. Not bad. Pretty good, actually. Hey, I feel funny. I mean, really funny! What was that thing? You tell the gnome about Baba Yaga and the good humor bar. Thanks, pal. Guess yep. this yuck's on me. This jester just can't thank you too much. You're my hero, Nero. My main man, Stan. Now you're talking like a gnome again. Fantastic. So you got by with a pie, aye? My, my. Always knew the way to Baba's heart was through her stomach. Probably someone she ate. You know what they say about cannibals? Always having a few friends over for dinner. I am so happy that it reminds me of the time Dimlit the Dwarf came across a magic ring in the bazaar in Shapir. He rubbed it, and lo and behold, out comes a genie. Okay. I will grant you three wishes, said the genie. Well, for my first wish, I want a place that's always filled with gold, says Dimlit. That's a pretty How good shall wish. shall it be done, said the genie. There before Dimlin appeared a purse. He turned it over, and a pile of gold spilled out on the desert sand. Again and again he turned it over, and more and more gold covered the ground. Master, you do have two more wishes left, said the genie. Oh, that's right, said the dwarf. Well, give me two more of these. Let me tell you, I'm every bit as happy as Dimlin was. You know what they say about humor? If you don't got it, you won't get it. And if you don't get it, I'm sure someone will try to explain it at great length. <laughs> Do you know why gnome jokes are so short? So that they won't go over the dwarves' heads! I'm sensing There's of, no some point in telling a dwarf here. a joke with a double meaning. He won't get either one! Judging from the expression, what you don't know can't hurt you, dwarves are practically invulnerable. Of course, far be it for me to say that all dwarves are just plain dumb. Most are pretty greedy, too. Dwarves get their money the hoard way. They won't even spend the time of day. Dwarves don't care how people treat them, as long as they do. Of course you know what you got when the singing dragon fell into the dwarf mine. A flat miner. And on that note, let's change the subject. Yeah, what do you got against dwarves? Well, now that I'm back in the funny business, it's one more show and I'm back on the road. I'm gonna show these yokels that he who laughs last just didn't get it. That's cool, that's cool. Well, later. Some people spread happiness wherever they go. Others, whenever they go. Fortunately, you are the former. If you was the latter, you'd probably have a few rungs missing. 
Before you blow, Joe, I figure I owe you one. I'm gonna let you in on a secret only we gnomes know. I'm gonna tell you the ultimate joke. Lay it on me. Don't wince, Vince. This is straight, mate. You tell this one, and whoever hears it is gonna laugh. Really laugh. Can't help it, can't stop it kind of laugh. Only works once, and should only be used in last resorts, Mort. It's the last laugh, so to speak. The best jest to the West. Yours for the telling. The gnome tells you a rather silly joke. You find yourself laughing despite yourself. See what I mean, Gene? Tell this joke to a big bad dude that's out to do you in, then exit while he's laughing. Use it or lose it. Bye-bye, birdie! I think I shall use it. Okay. That did you get in you 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 or climbing you, practice you, you you get you get rust 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 you little more you 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 get it rust you 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 get it and rust, rust. After Rest. After Excellent. Hmm, not quite night. After some... Now it's night. Let's see. Nope, not yet. Eventually the Fairy Queen will make it quite clear what she desires. Right, you implode, you ugly bastard. Score. Hmm. There really isn't anything else I need to do today. And time's almost up, so let's just do the la listen to the um, gnome's last show, and we'll end the video there. Sound good? You hear movement on the other side of the door. After a few minutes... It really doesn't matter if it sounded good, because, you know, you really so don't have a choice. Back. No, it's your front! Take a seat! No, take two! They're small! I got a joke just for you, so don't look so sheepish. Okie dokie, sitting down. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and all you others. I'd like to say how glad I am to be here. I'd like to say it. Seriously, folks, staying at the Hotel Mordavia has been like staying at a resort. A last resort. Yeah. My room is so small, the mice are hunchback. I couldn't even complain about the room service. There wasn't any to complain about. And the innkeeper's wife really went out of her way to make me feel at home. She ignored me completely. I wasn't feeling well, so I went out to visit the local doctor. You know, Dr. Cranium. He's the guy with the three pairs of glasses, one for nearsightedness, one for farsightedness, and Cranium. one to look for the other two. I said to the doctor, my heart keeps making a strange noise. It keeps going tick, tick, tick. Aha, said Dr. Cranium. We have ways of making you talk. I love Next, I went to visit the local store. If you don't know what's up, then you haven't seen their prices lately. And the shopkeeper, what a gossip! 
she suffers from acute indiscretion. I dislike repeating gossip, but uh, what else can you do with it? And boy, oh boy, the monster's in this place. If I ever come face to face with a revenant, I know what steps I take. Long ones. Yeah, good luck with that, stuff. What study. would I do if ever I saw a Necrotor? Hope it didn't see me. Actually, folks, I'm up here for a good reason. A jester's ambition is to be healthy, wealthy, and wisecracking. If it weren't for my friend the hero over there, I couldn't make a hyena laugh. So, when you've lost your wit, broken your funny bone, and none of your puns are fun, it helps to have a hero handy. That it does. You know, that reminds me very little of the story about the grave digger who was so bored, he buried himself in his work. You know, I could tell you some more jokes, but you'd only laugh at them. So long and be good. If you can't be good, then be careful. The gnome takes a deep bow and gets down off the stage. That's funny, you always thought he got down off a duck. Old joke. Uh, the townspeople explode into spontaneous applause. Keep smiling, it makes people wonder what you've been up to. So, was that funny or are you just keeping your mouth shut? I'm good at that. But, as I said, we're going to end the video here. I am the Blues32. This is Quest for Glory for Shadows of Darkness. TTFN. Ta-ta for now.